Hello and welcome. My name is Kathy A. And today I'm going to do a special show all about a brand of cosmetics called The Balm. <laughs> of course, you're spelling that B-A-L-M. And The Balm is kind of an interesting brand um, started by a lady from Connecticut. And I live in Connecticut, so it's kind of, I feel this kind of camaraderie affinity with it. So um, let me tell you first the story of the brand, and then when we come back, I'll show you a full face tutorial from Plain Jane to this. Be back with you in just a moment. The story of the bomb begins with Marissa Shipman. She was born in New York, but she was raised in Connecticut. And as a young child, she loved to put on makeup and play dress up. As she got older, a painful breakup with a boyfriend caused her to rethink where she was living. She decided to move across country and try her hand in the West Coast. She was in television business, behind the scenes work, and she met a cosmetic uh, specialist, a makeup artist, who inspired her to start thinking about makeup as a career. She actually was very good with makeup and she had sent out her resume to several different makeup companies in the Northern California area. When she got rejected she decided to try making her own so she went to Amazon.com and she ordered 11 different textbooks about how to make makeup safely. Most of them were written kind of scientifically and the only recipe she could figure out was the one for lip balm. Ingredients like beeswax, shea butter, and castor oil with a little fragrance. She worked out in her kitchen several different formulas and when she found the ideal lip balm she created she decided to package and market it. It was a great balm and it was 2004 and a very popular expression of the time to describe something really good was calling it the balm. So she named her company the balm and created it all around her lip balms. The products are cruelty free, paraben free, and free of most other ingredients used in cosmetics to preserve them that are not really particularly healthy. Basically, no bad ingredients. And also, the packaging she insisted on being eco friendly. Marissa hired a chemist to help her figure out formulas for makeup and using anti-aging ingredients as well as finely milled powders, she created a line of products that was worthy of notice by Sephora and she had a meeting with them and Sephora agreed to show her products in five of its stores. You can also find it in Kohl's, in Nordstrom, on eBay, on Amazon.com and of course hotlook.com which is a website that features different varieties of makeup on different days. It was 2004 then and they celebrated their 10th year this past uh, spring by opening a store in San Francisco called The Bomb and this is photos from her launch. This is the inside of the store. It's located in San Francisco, California. She also launched a beautiful website with tutorials and you can see all of the new products. They have specials and sales and here are some of the products. Very, very clever packaging here and a, a wide variety and assortment of products. She just left no stone unturned. Now in addition to makeup, she also has a line of makeup brushes and she's also delved into the world of hair care and skin care and you can find in the website anyway the hair care products like hairspray, shampoo and moisturizer and in the skin care everything for all different skin types from serums to uh, body lotions and there's even a makeup remover. Now how about that packaging? It is 
to die for. Absolutely fabulous packaging. And this is the work of three different graphic designers headed by Mary M Munoz. And this is also Melissa Wong. They are the two main graphic artists who work on the artwork for the uh, bomb products. Now they based a lot of their artwork on old covers from romance novels and magazines and old ads for hair and for other products for soap products and portray women um, as they looked between the 1930s and the 1960s. There are humorous similarities between real life ads and the actual products that the bomb came out with. You can see a lot of their inspiration for their products. Now all of the artwork on the bomb products is original, uh, although it looks so familiar to us. Now Marissa has two dogs she's very, very fond of. They're pug dogs. The one on the left is Buddy, and the one in her arms is Wheezy, or Eloise. You'll find Buddy featured on her How About Them Apples palette, and you'll also find the dogs in other places on the bomb such as their vegan-friendly lip balm ad, and Wheezy also appears on their website. Marissa's sister, Jordana, is actually the uh, executive vice president, and her father, who is pictured here on the right, is the, uh, is, is the president of the company. She has made numerous appearances on television, has been interviewed, and the bomb is becoming extremely popular now, and we wish Marissa well with this wonderful company of fantastic products. The bomb, it really is the bomb. I didn't have a whole lot of dirt on this particular brand and um, I'm kind of glad. I mean, it just sounds like she's a wonderful person. I love all the dogs in the office. They have like seven or eight dogs and I, they had pictures of all of them. And I like that she's got her sister and her dad there in the company with her and that she's true to the cruelty-free thing. And it's just a wonderful brand. I, I love it. I just do. So um, I want to show you how I got this face from, let me just uh, lift this up a little bit. Um, this is a very age-friendly brand and the products work really well on wrinkly old, patchy dry, oily, adult acne skin with pock marks. I mean it just does a great job. So let me show you how I got this face and I'll be back with you shortly. Through the magic of video. All right, we're one tour of the bomb. We're going to start it off with the eye primer called Put a Lid on It. This is somewhat colorless and rather thick. I'm just going to put like a pea size amount on between the two eyes. And we're moving into Time Bomb, which is the face primer. This is uh, designed to work al alone, or you can put it under your makeup so your makeup stays put. Helps even out your skin tone and minimize the appearance of fine lines. It's infused with vitamins A, C, and E, allantoin, oh, and bioflavonoids. So it's supposed to be pretty good for your skin, besides just being a face primer. And we're going into our tinted moisturizer is called Bomb Shelter and most of the names of the bomb products are a derivative of the word bomb. It's kind of cute, Bomb Shelter. Tinted moisturizer. I'm going to use an IT Cosmetics uh, face brush. Put it on just one half of my face because I'm going to use a different foundation on the other side. This is going on quite uh, wet. It's kind of a wet feeling moisturizer. It's very hydrating, very moisturizing. Some of you with oily uh, combo skin may not like this because it is a very shiny look, but I always set foundations and tinted moisturizers with powder, so this sort of aspect doesn't bother me. 
and I'm just putting like a second coat on. It's pretty good coverage with this, although I would say it would be light to medium coverage. You really don't want a really thick foundation when you're older because it can tend to look very cakey. Now on the other side, I'm going to use, this is called Time Bomb, and I like the little nuclear symbol on the box and also on the packaging, it's cute. Time Bomb is a foundation that's very age friendly. It comes with its own little flat beauty blender kind of sponge. And I got in the color Lighter Than Light. And this is just a little bit lighter than what should go on my face. It looks almost like clown face. <laughs> oh, just in time for Halloween. Um, yeah, I definitely should have gone up a shade on this uh, foundation, and I unfortunately got this from hotlook.com, and you can't return makeup on hotlook.com. So you can actually see a division of the sides because of the colors. The uh, tinted moisturizer side is slightly darker. But there's great coverage with this foundation, and if you're well moisturized, it works really well uh, with all types of skin. I'm just kind of checking out uh, the wrinkles and dings and dents to make sure nothing pooled in them and nothing clung to dry patches and it doesn't look too bad even though it's a little light. Now this is the Time Bomb Concealer. This is one of their top five selling products. It's a very very emollient and moisturizing concealer. Very pigmented. It's got a little mini flat beauty blender sponge type of thing in there. I'm not that fond of that. So I'm going to switch off as soon as I finish this side of the face, I think, to a uh, concealer brush because it's just irritating me. Now this is in the color light. Uh, this also came in a color lighter than light, but I decided to try light in this just to see if it was a little better. And it is much closer match to my skin tone than the lighter than light. You can um, use this concealer as a foundation in a pinch. Or you could blend it out with a little moisturizer and do just fine with it. I really like this concealer a lot. And everything goes on a little bit better with the brush. I'm going over some of the other spots that I went over with the little spongy thing with the brush and it seemed to do really well. The next product is the Sexy Mama Anti-Shine Translucent Powder. There's only one shade of this and it's translucent. There is a mirror in the packaging. Now this feels very coarse. Uh, I'm using my Kabuki slanted Kabuki brush from the Body Shop. It's a cruelty free brush. It's very large because I really just want to take the shine off and set the makeup. I don't want to do anything else. I don't want to add another big layer of anything to my skin. And I'm also trying to balance out the two sides of my face so it's not quite so obvious I have two different colors on my, my face. Now this is called the Bahama Mama Bronzer and this is a very, I'm just showing you the packaging here, it's very eco friendly packaging. Hardly any waste, there is a mirror with most of the uh, makeup that you get from this company and this is a, a very dark shade of bronzer, it's a matte finish so it's perfect for contouring. Now, I have a very light complexion and yet with a, a really good fluffy brush, um, you can see that I'm adding very subtle edging and dimension to my face. I really like this a lot. I think it's a wonderful product. Bahama Mama. Next up is Frat Boy, and this is an actual powder blush. These are beautiful uh, blushes. There's a little mirror with it, and there's a lot of product in there. You really just need one little swish on each side, and it looks really nice, and it lasts all day. It's a beautiful, natural-looking blush. I love the Bombs blushes.
Now this is a palette, a Rockstar palette called Bomb Jovi. <laughs> very, very clever packaging and wording. This is Disco Disco Solid Gold. I'm using it as a highlighter and also just underneath the brow. And on the third eye area down the nose, over the cupid's bow, and on the chin. And it just adds a little sunshine. It's kind of a controlled glow to my skin. I'll be using more from that palette later. This is an eye palette, a trio called the Smoke Bomb Palette. We have, <laughs> this is called Spark. And it's a very neutral putty gray color. And I think if you're a cool toned person or if you have darker hair than I do and different coloring, you're going to find that this works for you really well. And because it's a neutral, it's working for me just fine as well. I usually do uh, warm toned dark browns and things, but I thought I'd change it up a little for you today. Moving back into the Nude Tude palette. Now all of these shades are shades that you would find um, in your skin. They're all natural body colors. So they really look nice when they're on. They blend naturally. They don't look like obvious eyeshadows. There's great pigmentation. There is slight fallout with some of the powders, uh, especially the darker colors. You will see a little bit of fallout, but it, they're beautifully pigmented. And now this is called Sexy, this dark shade, just using it in the outer third of the eye. And it's a dark kind of maroon mahogany color. I'm going to blend that out in a minute, just kind of applying the product. This is a large fluffy brush with nothing on it. And I'm just blending it up and in to take away the harshness of the difference between that and the shades around it. I'm going to be blending other colors in with it shortly. Both of my eyes are different, so everything goes on slightly differently. Back to the Rockstar palette, the Bon Jovi palette. I'm going to go into the eyeshadows here. This first one is called Led Zeppelin. And of course, any of you who are rock aficionados know that Led Zeppelin spells it differently. We're also using a little iron made in. And Metal Ica. <laughs> it's a pretty um, holographic white color. And we're going into the stroke, as in the stroke of midnight, or the strokes as in uh, the, the band. Little REM there which is a slight purpley taupe. And pop pop don't you want me. It's a blush when I'm using it as an eyeshadow. Not done yet. I'm going to have to line my eyes now and I'm going to use this dark brown called Presto. Just going in of the lower lid just about halfway in connecting the upper V triangle with the uh, with the brown shade just to kind of pull it all together and I'm trying to uh, blend out that kind of messy lid there just going close to my lash line and I'm not going past the halfway mark with the dark color now this is called showing <laughs> black liquid liner it's the only color as far as I know is a black liner. It's a really nice brush. Great artwork on the actual cap of this as well. And I'm just drawing a thick line very close to my lash line. Halfway in, not going past the halfway mark. And I'm just winging it up just a teeny bit heading up towards my eyebrows on the edge. And I'm going in the bottom fifth of my lower lid area. I'm going to curl my lashes and I'm doing eight seconds on each side but this is speeded up so it doesn't look like I wasted any time at all with this. This is called Cheater Mascara. 
And on the side of the packaging, it says Endless Drama, Vince Volume, Donnie Dark Coat, Thomas Thick, and Lance Longlash. Very, very clever <laughs> packaging and the names. I just, the bomb is just a joy to use, and I'm, it's one of the few brands I actually keep the packaging because it's so clever. They do generally try to keep the actual packaging looking just like the outer packaging, but uh, some of them, some of them are just so cute. They have a great team um, of people uh, working on this particular aspect of the uh, of the brand. I think I used my very first bomb product. Um, only less than a year ago and they've been around for 10 years so I've been under a rock for sure but I think because they're so pricey I have kind of avoided them and with kind of the kitschy cartoony um, stuff on there I didn't know the validity of the makeup and it wasn't until I did this particular show that I realized the quality and the diversity of this particular brand I really like it a lot putting on two full coats of mascara now this mascara um, looks great it looked beautiful but after a few hours it did not uh, work well for me it left little dings on my upper lids going into the brows this is called brow pow and it's in blonde did not come with any kind of an applicator so I'm using my own brow pencil kind of uh, brush and I'm just kind of shaping it a little bit. You can see that it's added some density to my brows where it's sparse from over plucking in the 70s. We were just so groovy back then and those thin little lashes set us apart from our moms. And now um, <laughs> a lot of our lashes, uh, our brows don't want to grow back. Anyway, this is the blonde shade. It's a little bit dark, but I really like it and just fluffing them out making it look a little more natural using a spoolie and just checking in the mirror to make sure there's no fallout and that the mascara is cool now there's no lip pencil so I'm using my essence lip pencil in the shade in the nude because you really do need to have a lip pencil uh, when you're putting any kind of a lip product on this is the bomb girls lipstick in my bills be paid starring James bomb and this is a beautiful, absolutely beautiful nude. And since this company was based upon uh, lip balm, I wanted to try at least three lip products. So on the other side of my lips, I'm going to the Balm Jovi palette again, the Rockstar palette. And this color is called Millie. And I'm just kind of putting that on the other side. It's a beautiful lipstick shade. Okay, now I'm going to go over everything with it. This is my favorite lipstick shade from the Balm so far. I'm going to try a few more. Goes on really nice and smooth. It's a pretty color. It's nice, neutral, mauve kind of color. And now I'm going to go over the top with Plump Your Pucker. This is a lip gloss in Tutti My Fruity is the shade. Now this has a maxi plump substance in it, which is basically a lip plumper substance. It brings all the blood to your lips, so it, there's a little bit of heat and tingling. Unfortunately, after a couple of hours, it uh, chaps your lips. Now the nail polish was a huge surprise. Hot Ticket Nail Polish. This color is called Cover to Cover Red. So there you have it. That's the bomb. And I really think it really is the bomb. I'm absolutely totally impressed with this line. I love just about everything I tried. Um, this is probably one of the coolest palettes around. Not just because of the names of the shadows, but the quality of them and the variety of products that you get in this one palette. This is one of my favorite lipsticks of all time. And you've got a nice highlighter here that can also use as an eyeshadow got a beautiful blush which is just a universal shade of pretty and a really nice assortment of different um, eyeshadows some with or without a little sheen to them it's just a wonderful palette and I think this is a great starter piece if you're going to start with the balm this was a great surprise and I have seen this and picked it up and put it down and picked it up so many times over the past year I am so glad I bought it. This color scared me to death. 
this is such a dark color. I thought, how could this possibly work on my pale white girl face? And it looks very natural as a shading product, as a contour product. Just a light touch and I used this brush. I think this is a Coastal Scents brush. I'm not sure, but I just used this brush, a very light touch. I went a light touch one side, then the other side, then the other side. I think that was a great, a great bronzer. You can also use this, again, as a crease color. You can use it as an eyeshadow. Um, and in a pinch probably as a brow powder depending on your brow color. So this was a great happy surprise for me. Um, the Schwing <laughs> These names. The Schwing uh, eyeliner. There's only one eyeliner and it's black and I'm not a big fan of black eyeliner but it does work really well over wrinkly, crinkly um, lids. It's got a strong brush and you need a strong brush to get through all the fluff of your wrinkles and and ridges in your in your uh, in your lid. Surprisingly, there was no lip liner, and I'm, I don't understand why. Because you really need a lip liner, especially over 40, because you have those tiny little lines that merge into your lips all around the edges of your lips. Is these tiny little lines? If you were a smoker in the 70s and 80s, there are even bigger lines going into your lips and when your lipstick starts to smear, if you drink something, your lipstick will merge into those little lines and you look really sloppy. It looks sloppy yucky. So, I don't know. I don't get it. Anyway, that's the bomb. And total thumbs up from me on this brand. I love it. They're cruelty free. They're paraben free. And there's all these other kinds of things that are bad for you that they're free of that too. So, I just totally recommend the, the products. Look for them on hotlook.com so you can get a good price on them. Uh, give them a try. And again, if you want a starter kit, this is probably your best bet for a starter kit. Um, it's not their most popular seller, but I think it's, it's a fabulous um, thing. I actually want to get more of their stuff because I, I really like it. But you can do a full face with what I showed you and be quite happy with that. And know that it lasts, it's high quality, and it's cruelty free. So. Everybody have a wonderful week and have a beautiful day. Take care. Toodles.